This Laguna jointer is a piece of junk, so if you stay tuned, I'll tell you why and what I did about it. What on earth does Frankenstein have to do with this video other than the fact that Halloween's in a couple days? Well, keep watching and I'll tell you about it in a little bit. About a year ago in July 2022, I bought a Laguna Sheertech JX8 jointer and I had a lot of people reach out to me after I published two videos on that jointer. One was on how to assemble it, the other one was how to get it set up properly. And what they were asking was for help because they had nothing but frustrations with their machines, much like I had. So I wanted to make this video to set the record straight and tell you everything about it and how I went about fixing it. And as you can see, this is not the Laguna jointer. Last summer, I finally decided it was time to upgrade my six inch jointer to an eight inch one because I was in the middle of building my split top Rubo bench and I needed the extra length for the beds in order to balance the long boards and the really heavy slabs for the tops of the Rubo bench so that I would be able to actually process them a lot easier without having to use a lot of muscle. If you haven't already seen my video series on the split top Rubo bench, I'll leave a, a link up top here so you'll be able to check that out. Lots of cool videos there, especially the houndstooth dovetails one. There's not many options for jointers in Canada. So you've got three main companies, at least that I'm aware of, that make jointers. There's CraftX, King and Laguna. Most of the machines in my shop are already King, so I was gonna try and buy a King jointer, but there were huge supply chain issues with the King jointers last year and you just couldn't get them. The wait time was probably gonna be like six or eight months. I have no idea why. If you do, leave me a comment down below and let me know. Because I had projects that I wanted to complete before Christmas, I really didn't want to wait until Christmas or into the new year to get another jointer. So I started looking around at the CraftX and at the uh, Laguna ones. And I decided to go with the Laguna because I really don't have any experience with any CraftX machines or Laguna for that matter. But Laguna's reputation seems to be a really good one. So I ended up buying the Laguna JX8 Sheertech jointer. I took delivery of the Laguna jointer in the first week or so of July uh, 2022 and before I had it set up I made a huge mistake. I sold my King 6 inch jointer. More on that later. I began setting up that Laguna jointer and after probably two or three hours of really careful alignment uh, checks and setup, I was able to get the machine perfectly set up so I was ready to make some test cuts. So I made some test cuts. and. None of the boards were straight. I went back and I checked the alignment on the machine because it just didn't make any sense to me. And you guessed it, the tables were not coplanar anymore. I forget which way they were going. One was tipped up or down or they were tilted or something, but the boards just weren't straight coming off the jointers. So I thought, well, you know what? Maybe I didn't tighten down some of these little grub screws that hold these eccentric cams in place so that the table can't move once you've got it locked into position. So I checked all those, everything was tight, and I just couldn't, at that point anyways, figure out what the problem was. So I set the machine up again and made some test cuts, had the same problem all over again. I made sure everything was tight. I double checked before I even turned the machine on. It was perfectly aligned. I turn it on, run a couple boards through, check them, they're not straight. The machine was out of alignment again. I bet I set that machine up a dozen times, you know, getting faster and faster at it each time with the practice, but nothing worked. So I eventually reached out to Laguna and after a few phone calls and emails back and forth with them, they gave me a few tips that I really wasn't thinking about when I set the machine up. So I went back to the drawing board, so to speak. I tried some of their tips, ran some test boards through the machine. It didn't work either. I was still getting boards that were, you know, bowed end to end, uh, even twisted a little bit. They, they just didn't come off the machine flat. As you know, jointers need to do two main things very well. One, they need to be able to flatten a surface and two, 
They need to be able to square the edge up on the board to that face that you've just flattened so that you can start to create nice square stock for your projects. And that Laguna joiner was incapable of doing either one of those two operations. So to make a long story short, after about three months, multiple emails and phone calls to Laguna, they deemed my machine defective and I returned it and got my money back. Those three months of wasted woodworking meant that my buddy who was using my shop to make his daughter a hope chest for Christmas had no chance of getting it completed. In fact, it's still in my shop right now. I think the only positive thing that came out of that Laguna jointer experience was I got really good at setting up parallel jointers in a matter of probably 30 minutes or less. It's a breeze. If you've made it this far in the video, make sure to leave me a comment down below, maybe on your favorite wood species. I'll reply back with mine also, and that way I know you've made it this far in the video. But let's get back to this whole Frankenstein thing. Since I didn't have a jointer in my shop anymore, I had to investigate the Craftex jointers. And as luck would have it, one of my friends actually had the helical version of this jointer in his shop. So I went over to check it out, run some boards through it, and just get a sense of what the quality was like, generally speaking. I was actually quite disappointed in the surface it left. You could see the mill marks, you could actually feel the mill marks. So I left his shop somewhat disappointed, but my neighbor does woodworking also, and I went over to his shop to check out his jointer because he didn't have a Craftex one, but he did have a six inch jointer that was a really old one. He had replaced the straight knife head uh, in that machine with a, a spiral head or a helical head from a company called Sheertac in Kitchener, Waterloo, up here in Ontario, Canada. So I went to check it out and we compared the surfaces that we were getting off of his jointer, as well as the Laguna and the Craftex helical head. And what we discovered was the aftermarket helical head that he had in his jointer, it actually gave you a surface very comparable to the Laguna surface. So that was kind of promising. So then I started to have a bit of an idea in my head. I was thinking, okay, well, does Craftex make this jointer in a straight knife version? And can you get a helical cutter head and retrofit it into the machine? With a little bit of poking around on the computer, I quickly discovered it is possible. They do make the machine in a straight knife version and you can get the aftermarket helical head from Sheertac in Waterloo. The remaining questions that I had to ask myself were, how much a hassle is this going to be? Is it really worth it? Or how much money am I going to save? So I started looking up prices and all the availability and so on. And what I learned was this machine with the straight knives was $1,900. You could buy the helical head version for $2,400 at the time. And the spiral head was $500 if you ordered it from Sheertac. So for the same amount of money, you could actually have this machine fit with a helical cutter head and have you know, a superior cut quality to the one that would just be the OEM version, essentially. And not only that, the Laguna joiner was $3,700. So at a savings of $1,300, uh, and I've got that you know, machine that would not hold adjustment out of my shop, now I'm starting to see a light bulb on over my head, and I think you know where this is going now. Even though I was pretty certain this is the path I was gonna go down, I still ran the idea past my neighbor because I wanted to get another opinion on it. And he said things to me like, are you crazy? Like, why would you wanna go to the hassle of retrofitting an aftermarket head in a machine that's available with a helical cutter head right from the factory? It doesn't make any sense. You know, you're gonna have this machine with random parts on it and it's gonna be like a Frankenstein machine. Well, as you can see, I did end up buying the Craftex straight knife jointer and I never even used the straight knife cutter head that it came with. I immediately replaced it with the helical cutter head from Sheertac up in Waterloo. Here's the original head right here. And, you know, I couldn't be happier with my choice to retrofit that spiral or that helical head into the machine because it really only took about an hour of my time. It was super simple. You take the fence off, you get access to two screws on the back, there's two screws on the front, you get the tables dropped down out of the way, and that cutter head just lifts right out, the new one drops right back in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I couldn't be happier with my choice to do what I've done. So guess what showed up in my neighbor's shop about a month ago? You know that neighbor friend that told me I was crazy for even thinking about doing all this? Well, you guessed it. An identical Frankenstein jointer, the straight knife version, just like this, 
same head put into it. Maybe we're starting a trend. So maybe it's gonna catch on. Maybe people will start doing this. Maybe they already have. If you've done it or if you're considering doing it after watching this video, leave the comment Frankenstein down below so that I know I'm not the only crazy mad scientist out there. Until next time, go build something beautiful.